And thank you for staying up late with us here on The Factor Uncensored. We have a great program along with some great guests. There are 140 days until Election Day. Former President Donald Trump took to the campaign trail this weekend, focusing part of his efforts on black voters. He visited 180 Church, a primarily black church in Detroit, Michigan. There, he hosted a roundtable meeting. Many people have been critical of that event. Some critics have been asking why more black people did not show up. This comment from 180 Church Pastor Lorenzo Sewell also has people talking. President Trump, I'm so humbled that you would be here. President Obama never came to the hood, so to speak, right? President Joe Biden, he went to the big NAACP dinner, but he never came to the hood. So thank you. This also comes as black rappers have endorsed the former president, including Kodak Black, 50 Cent, and Sexy Red. Joining us to talk about it tonight, University of Houston downtown professor Dr. Dietrich von Biedenfeld, representative, state representative Jolanda Jones, and Melissa Wilson, a member of the Urban Conservatives of America. So, Melissa, let's start with you. You would say Donald Trump is doing all the right things, at least now. Absolutely, he's doing the right thing. Um, well, well, number one, you know, I think that what what's happening is you have a Democratic panic attack. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, he's coming to the black community. Oh, oh, Lord, let's do something. Well, he's making an effort. You know, I'm, I'm from the hood. I'm from Port Arthur, Texas. We never really even had a state representative come knock on our door, let alone come in our churches. And so what you have here, people are focusing more on uh, what the audience look like versus the message that he's trying to s tell them. And many you people know, criticize for there being a mainly white audience in a right. black church. Right, but what you have here, as you know, uh, you may not know a lot of political people. Or, well, actually you do. You know Jolanda and you know Ron <laughs> Reynolds. Okay, so when we have political events, you know, at times we're not responsible for hosting those events. Mm -hmm. You know, he was invited to come speak at this church. And so a lot of times when we put out uh, a memo that, hey, we're going to come speak at this this church or this community, anybody's welcome to come. Now, if black people are not feeling comfortable with coming, I can understand that, but everyone was invited. Mm -hmm. So I think what we have here is you have a narrative being pushed on social media, trying to make this man look bad, when in fact he's helping the black community by implementing laws like the First Step Act. You know, he's, he spoke briefly about the 1994 crime bill. Let's bring the other guests yes. in real quick, Melissa. So, Jolanda, one of the things you have said, and you and Ron Reynolds, state representatives on here, is that the Democrats haven't done enough to court black voters. <laughs> but you draw the line here. Uh, absolutely. So, no, the Democratic Party needs to do better. But Trump is a buffoon, and he treats us as if we're buffoons. He goes to a black church, and he talks about how we're criminals. Like, there are black neighborhoods with no crime. And, you know, the thing that bothers me is you had some step and fetched Negroes at this church. It was probably, I don't know, 12 to 20 black people at a, ch at a black church full of white folks. And Trump comes there and he just panders to the lowest common denominator. And, you know, we had uh, black women with, what do you call it, the, the dippy do on their hair trying to have the little, like, curls, you got ribbons. Like, it's like the, it's the wrong worst. wrong baby hair. Uh, uh, it, it, not when you're grown, <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is, like, why are we caricatures? He didn't talk about meaningful anything. Again, he focused on criminality. He talked about the Bible, but didn't talk about the Bible. I mean, he was pandering to black people because he knows that religion is important to us. And I want to know when we're going to stop having pastors allow people who have no good for us into their churches. because. Nobody white is bringing us to white churches saying, hey, vote for these good black people. Vote for them. But we do that, and I think it's terrible. But I will also say this. We ain't as stupid as he thinks we are, right? We're not as stupid as we think as he thinks we are. So we are not going to go vote for Donald Trump. We may undervote for Democrats, but Trump is not resonating with us. And really quick, let's bring in Dr. Von Biedenfeld from University of Houston downtown. New polls indicate that Donald Trump is getting just under 20% of the black vote. Absolutely. And it's appropriate that polls, I'm in... Polls. Right. I'm, it's appropriate that I'm in the middle because I actually agree that this is an effective strategy for exactly the same reasons that both of your other panelists said. 
It is an effort and overture that President Biden hasn't done. President Biden's cabinet is actually more diverse than President Obama's, and I think the black community looks at that and says, wait a second, you're doing this, but you could do more, as opposed to the 82% white, 82% male cabinet of uh, President Trump. But I also think the undervotes and battleground states are going to very much damage President Biden's chances at re-election because former President Trump is actually creating this difficulty where people say, I want to stay home. I'm not going to be Tim Scott. I, I didn't use that term. Sure, right. Uh, but I, I'm going to also not sit here and allow uh, this hidden tropism and lack of transparent tokenism Inter interfere and you think the army of one and Lloyd Austin now it's an army of two because Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman and then you go immediately below those individuals and they are predominantly Caucasian they're the diversity that we find is which is a problem in conservative people of color communities um, as far as the LGBTQ community it's it, it's it's great for that community but black individuals are saying what about my shot what about the governor of Mar Maryland pardoning a bunch of low-level offenses. How come the president hasn't done this? So then and you really get quick, that. before we go on there, we want to hear about these rappers who have endorsed Donald Trump. Any of you can jump in now. Your thoughts on that from Sexy Red to 50 Cent. Who, sexy well, who? Well, se <laughs> I mean, Sexy 50 who? Red. So, okay, look, look, look. Because <laughs> you got on red? <laughs> <laughs> well, I look good at red. I say you didn't, yeah, but look, you got on red. So you got on red. <laughs> okay, back in hand. So, so you have celebrities including Snoop Dogg coming out endorsing Donald Trump because you can't deny the man's economic policy at the end of the day in the Trump era we all prospered I don't care what industry that you went in or you talked to from electricians to plumbers to real estate agents to you know construction everything has skyrocketed to extra astronomical levels and so when you when you look at economic policy as a whole it did benefit the black community because more black people he said that on the panel more black people are now homeowners than they've ever been all it's right. not true. That's, yes, that is absolutely not true, true. That is which is true. exactly why that Donald Trump true. always says stuff like ever and, so, and never and it's so, the best ever he so never the last he seconds. never okay. gives any kind of statistics he just says things and when his lips are moving he's lying when so when he speaks we need to ask for statistics he has none which is exactly why I call him tricky Trump well, because he's just not to be believed and no black people have not done better under Trump they've done better under Biden the Biden administration needs to do better about telling people what we've done and actually give the statistics that back it up okay Trump, so, uh, well, so quick, here's, I think here, the part of the, art of the deal though is this sort of manipulation of certain facts and he does get things done the buildings do get built and some people may be underpaid some people may not be paid but who is he by well uh, what President I see Trump. is people uh, losing their 401ks I see inflation at, at astronomical levels people are you losing say so? their job no because I know so no you don't right. uh, yes I Out actually time, do guys thank you for joining us the viewers gonna hate <laughs> me for stopping it I got to blame Sonora Harris in the back still ahead